In this video, we'll cover the historical Solana data queries added so far. These mostly include aggregates like the historical OHLC or the K line and top 10 token traders and change in liquidity over a month. Now to get the historical OHLC data for this token using the archive data set of Solana. So what I'll do is I'll select the Dex trades by token option and I order the query result using the block underscore time field field which is over here and I am putting the conditions like the currency mint address has to be the following the side currency mint address has to be the following and I am putting a limit of 10 so the fields I am getting are the block time field the volume which is the sum of trade amount and in the trade I'm getting the maximum price, the lowest price, the open price and the close price which is the OHLC and I'm getting the number of trades in that period. So let's run this query and you can see these are the details for each day. This has the OHLC number of trades and the volume. Now to get change in liquidity for a particular pair of currencies for a particular market address for the last month using the historical data for Solana. Now we'll select the Solana option with the dataset as combined and we'll select the Dex trades by token option where we have our filter in the where option. The first filter is that the trade currency mint address has to be the following and the side currency mid address has to be the following which is also the mint address of rap solana also we have an additional condition which is over the market address the market address has to be this and if i have to explain what is market address you can say that it is more or less same as a liquidity pool now i have ordered the query based on the block underscore time field so that i'll get the liquidity change in the recent month and I have limited the count by one so what we'll get over here is the token liquidity which is the sum of trade amount where the current where the side currency is bought secondly we'll get the wrap Solana liquidity which is the sum of trade side amount where the side currency is sold then we'll get the block underscore time field using this thing other than that we'll get the trade market address and also one thing i like to point out is that this is not going to give you the exact change but rather the positive change that is the liquidity added for these tokens now let's run this query and this is the result we get now to get top traders of a particular token using the historical solana data for that we'll use the solana option with the data set as combined then we'll use the dex trades by token and since we are looking to get the top 10 traders we'll limit the count to 10 we'll order the result based on the field tokens that is the total number of tokens that a particular address has also for the conditions, the only condition we are putting is on the currency mint address to be the following so that we get the traders of this particular token. In the result, we are getting the trade account owner and the tokens as the sum of trade amount and the number of trades as the count. Now we'll run this query and this is the result we get. You can see we have sorted out the traders based on the number of tokens they hold. You can also sort them out based on other parameters. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. And make sure to join the Telegram channel from the description of the video for any doubts. I'll share the documentation link in the description of the video as well.